Good day students and welcome back to our third lesson for our topic development. To start with, I would like to recap on what we did last lesson. Okay, last lesson, we studied the influence of certain factors that can give an indication of development of a country. So what did we see? We saw that knowing a country's GNP per capita is a good first step towards understanding the country's economic strengths and needs, as well as the general standard of living enjoyed by the average citizen. A country's GNP per capita tends to be closely linked with other indicators that measure the social, economic, and environmental well-being of the country and its people. We also saw that population growth is known to be a crucial factor in the process of social and economic development. For the other indicators uh, that I've just mentioned, we discussed uh, in detail um, uh, how these uh, can give an indication of development of a country. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the terms GNP and HDI, state why GNP is given in US dollars, state that a country's wealth is measured using GNP per capita figures, state that GNP and HDI are two common indicators of development, and finally explain why the HDI is preferable as a measure of development to GNP. As we discussed last lesson and the lesson before, lesson one and lesson two, we discuss a lot about GNP. And then we know, we know for sure that GNP measures the total economic output of a country, including earnings from foreign investments, regardless of production location. And GNP for, per capita is found by dividing a country's wealth by its population. And per capita also means per person. It uh, is usually calculated in US dollars. Why is GNP then given in US dollars? GNP is measured in a country's currency first of all. But in order to compare with other countries' GNPs, we need to convert to a common currency of which we use the US dollars. The United States or US economy has the largest GNP in the world. So that's one reason. Another one, US dollar is the world's most heavily traded currency and the price of commodities such as gold uses this currency. Next, HDI. Also HDI, we, we discussed about this last lesson, but here again let us define what HDI means. HDI was created to emphasize that people and their capabilities should be the ultimate criteria for assessing the development of a country and not economic growth alone. HDI can also be used to question national policy choices and uh, asking how two countries with the same level of GNI per capita can end up with, the, with different human development outcomes. These contrasts can stimulate debate about government policy priorities. It is a summary measure. So here we're going to see the definition for HDI. Now, HDI is a summary measure of average achievement in key dimensions of human development, meaning long and, uh, a long and healthy life, being knowledgeable, and have a decent standard of living. What else about HDI? Now, when we talk about the key dimensions of human development, we are talking about the three dimensions the health dimension, education dimension, and standard of living dimension. So health dimension is assessed by life expectancy. Education dimension is measured by mean of years of schooling for adults age 
25 and more, and expected years of schooling for children of school entering age. And standard of living dimension, when we're talking about Human Development Index, is measured by gross, by the gross national or GNI per capita. Now, what are the most common indicators for development used in geography? So here we shall look at some of the most common indicators. Okay, we start with GNP, your gross national product, GNP per capita, gross domestic product, your GDP, birth and death rates, the human development index, infant mortality rate, literacy rate, and life expectancy. Now, when we talk about, notice also in the list here that we have GNP and HDI. When we talk about infant mortality rates, we are talking about the number of infants dying before reaching um, one year of age per thousand live births in a given year. Birth rate and death rates you already know. Literacy rate is the rate of percentage of people who are able to read and is a useful indicator of the state of education within a country. And life expectancy, as we discussed last lesson, or in the first lesson when we looked at the different definitions, is the average period that a person may expect to live. And in calculating the life expectancy of a country, this simple statistic can be used as an indicator of the healthcare quality in a country, level of sanitation, provision of care for the elderly as well. Okay. Now, a country's wealth is measured using GNP per capita figures. If we look at map one, we see a world map showing GNP per capita or GNP per head for the different countries of the world. Now the different colors, different colors have been used to show low to high GNP per capita. So let's see. Let's start with the white color. If we see white color, it means there is no data as we see on the, on the map. And uh, an example where there is no data, highlighted white, is Western Sahara. Next, we move on to another level. We're talking about low GNP per capita. And this is, is highlighted yellow. And yellow, it means having a low GNP per capita. So we are talking $695 or less. And an example given here is uh, Madagascar. Very good. Next one, we go, we move on to lower to middle, from lower to middle GNP per capita, and we are talking about $696 to $2,785. And for that, an example, we have, okay, Peru. So next we move on to upper to middle GNP per capita. So we are talking about $2,786 up to $8,625. And an example, what do you think this country is? It's in Europe, yes? Okay, very good. Portugal. And finally, we go on the last category, the high GNP per capita. And we are talking about $8,626 or more. And an example, what is, is Australia? Okay.
Now, as an activity at, at home, can you name two other countries from each category? Remember also to mention the continents. As observed on map one also, it clearly shows that the countries in Western Europe, here it is, Japan, North America, North American countries, sorry, and Australia have much higher value than LEDCs. And examples for LEDCs are here are India, Bangladesh, over to Africa, Nigeria, and Zimbabwe. Human Development Index. HDI is ranked on a scale from 0 0.1 to 1.0, with 1.0 being the highest human development. HDI is broken down into four tiers, namely, very high human development, 0 0.8 to 1.0, high human development, 0 0.7 to 0 0.79, medium human development, 0 0.55 to 0 0.70, and low human development below 0 0.55. Now, most MEDCs have a HDI score of 0 0.08 or above. These countries have stable governments, widespread education, healthcare, li high life expectancies, and growing powerful economies. Whereas LEDCs, have HDI scores in the low human development tiers which with HDI scores below 0.55. LEDCs face unstable governments, widespread poverty, lack of access to healthcare, and poor education. Additionally, these countries have low income and low life expectancies coupled with high birth rates. HDI also helps the United Nations determine which countries need assistance, specifically the LEDCs. Okay, next, we are going to look at map 2, showing HDI per head. Okay, now, since 1980, the UN has used HDI to measure levels of development. And this, they believe, is a more reliable and accurate measure of development than GNP. And why? As it measures the three indices of well-being, namely life expectancy, literacy and schooling, and GNP relating to local purchasing power. Now, looking at our map, map 2, different colors have been used to uh, color the different countries. But if we look at the key, where it shows, shows HDI, before we start looking at the color, there is no given data for Greenland, former Spanish Sahara, former Yugoslavia, and French Guyana. But then if we look at uh, the different colors then, white, when we look at white, we are showing uh, the low um, uh, human development index and then it goes to different colors yellow to orange to red to brown and brown showing the uh, brown and uh, orange together they are the uh, very high um, uh, human development index so let us look at some examples now according to 2019 figures from United Nations, Norway was at the top with HDI value of 0 0.954. Where's Norway? Yes, there it is in the in Northern Europe, in Europe there, next to Sweden. And uh, so Norway was at the top, followed by closely by Switzerland. Well, Switzerland, yes here 0 0.946 and the third one was Ireland all in Europe 0 0.942 now looking at uh, our map 
MEDCs dominate the higher levels of HDI, whereas LEDCs such as Afghanistan in Asia. Yes, here it is. Afghanistan next to Pakistan after India. And uh, over to Africa, we go to Burkina Faso. There it is. And uh, Sierra Leone in Africa still. There it is. And uh, these two are LEDCs. Now, can you name two other countries in each category? Remember to also mention the continents. Now, I would like you to use the four tires. So I've shown you here two, two tires, low, the very low, and then the very high. So you use, you have to fill in the high now and the medium. So what have we learned today? Today's lesson, we have learned that GNP is measured in a, con in a country's currency, but in order to compare with other countries, GNPs, we need to convert to a common currency and usually we use the US dollars. Now HDI is a summary measure of average achievement in key dimensions of human development, namely a long and healthy life, being knowledgeable and have a decent standard of living. Now GNP and HDI are two common indicators of development used in geography. A country's wealth is measured using GNP per capita figures. Next lesson, we are going to compare and contrast the economic and social development of MEDCs and LEDCs. But before we end our lesson, we will see our homework for next week. Okay, number one, we're going to use map one and give the name of two countries with high GNP per capita, two, two countries with low GNP per capita, and the third one, two countries having a GNP per capita ranging between $696 to $2,785. Number two, we're going to research and name three countries with the highest HDI and three with the lowest HDI for 2020. And number three, why is HDI considered to be a better way than GNP in measuring levels of development? We have now reached the end of lesson three and I thank you for your attention. Remember students, to keep following the health guidelines from the Ministry of Health and stay safe. Until next week, thank you and goodbye.